Yoel Romero is expected to sign a multi-fight contract with Bellator and will debut in 2021 in the light heavyweight division, according to ESPN. Romero was cut from the UFC in early December, ending his seven-year stint with the company. The 43-year-old is expected to fight in the 205-pound division, but a date for his debut has not been set yet. The Cuban signed for UFC in 2013 and went on an eight-fight winning streak, leading him to an interim middleweight championship bout with Robert Whittaker in 2017. Romero lost the fight by unanimous decision. Romero's most recent fight was a loss to middleweight champion Israel Adesanya by unanimous decision in March, leaving him a 1-4 record upon his UFC release. Charles Oliveira wants to face the winner of Conor McGregor vs Dustin Poirier. Charles Oliveira believes that he should face the winner of the Conor McGregor Dustin Poirier rematch after a dominating win over Tony Ferguson at UFC 256. The 31 year old is coming off his biggest win so far after beating Ferguson via unanimous decision in the co main event of UFC 256, the Brazilian's eighth win in a row. While the ideal scenario for Oliveira would be to face off against reigning lightweight champion Khabib Nurmagomedov, he doesn't believe the Russian will return to action after announcing his retirement, which leaves him to fight the winner of the upcoming UFC 257 headliner, between McGregor and Poirier. Khabib swore on his father's grave that he wasn't going to come back so, when a man does that, I don't think he's going to come back said Oliveira. Khabib Nurmagomedov has named his price to come out of retirement, Khabib has no interest in a rematch with either Conor McGregor or Dustin Poirier, but admits a huge financial offer from Dana White would offer him a problem. UFC lightweight champion Khabib Nurmagomedov says that he's not interested in facing the winner of the Conor McGregor-Dustin Poirier rematch, but might be tempted if offered a huge financial package by the UFC. The Eagle announced his retirement back in October in an emotional post-fight interview after beating Justin Gaethje. But rumors have been circling about a return and even Dana White seems hopeful that we will see Nurmagomedov again in the octagon, with the UFC president revealing that the two are set for a meeting in the near future. Before we finish the video, if you enjoyed this content, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get the latest videos from MMA on the go. Marvin Vittori, Adesanya must fight me to prove he's the best. Vittori is still not convinced that Israel Adesanya is the best middleweight in the world. In Israel Adesanya's second fight in the UFC, he earned a split decision victory over an unranked Vittori. Two years later, and Israel Adesanya is the reigning, undisputed middleweight champion and Marvin Vittori is swiftly picking up steam as the number 5 ranked contender. Vittori has been open about wanting a rematch with Adesanya and believing that he was the rightful winner of their first bout. The only problem for Vittori's rematch efforts is that Adesanya is looking to move up a division, at least temporarily, and challenge Jan Blachowicz for the UFC light heavyweight championship. Vittori believes that the correct legacy move would be to fight him instead of moving up to another division. Marvin Vittori went on to theorize that Adesanya is only chasing a fight with Jan Blachowicz because it is a better matchup for him and with a much smaller risk to his legacy. Vittori believes that should Adesanya defeat him next instead, it would be much more meaningful, particularly since Adesanya's other big wins in the division recently all failed to impress. The UFC rankings have been updated following UFC 256. Tony Ferguson is no longer ranked in the pound-for-pound -pound rankings, while Davidson Figueredo moves up one spot to number 9 after his majority draw with Brandon Moreno in the UFC 256 main event. Charles Oliveira shoots up four spots to number three following his dominant victory over Tony Ferguson at UFC 256. The only two fighters ahead of him in the rankings are now Justin Gaethje, number one, and Dustin Poirier, number two. Middleweight, Kevin Holland leaps up five spots up to number 10 after his pretzel KO over Jacare Souza at UFC 256. Heavyweight, Cyril gains skyrockets seven spots up the rankings up to number seven after knocking out Junior Dos Santos at UFC 256. Junior Dos Santos falls three spots to number 10 after the loss, and is a possible candidate to be cut out of the UFC roster. 